Today we're going to explore some of the more popular perch fishing spots in the winter months here in central Washington. Today we are at Winchester Wasteway, which is just nine miles off of the highway between Quincy and George on Road 5. This little stretch of the Wasteway here oftentimes can be loaded with perch. They're not really big, but they can often be plentiful. And there are times when the banks of both sides of the Wasteway here are lined with anglers just starting in December all the way through March. Today we find no anglers. There's been a period of the last couple of years when they've been fairly scarce. But when the perch are in, this is one of the most popular destinations for families to enjoy perch fishing from the banks of the Wasteway. In the background, there's a bridge that crosses it, which is right on Road 5. Also, just above here, there is a spillway. Below that spillway is a good perch fishing spot and also can produce some very large rainbow, which is a surprise in the Wasteway. And I mean large, four to six pounds. Typically people just fish with maybe a double hook rig on a long rod so they can boost them up on the bank. Worms are a good bait, maggots, typical perch fishing rigs. As I say, this is one of those years that the perch are vacant in this stretch of the waste way, but it's one I always check on for winter fishing for perch here in central Washington. In the background, you can see the spillway, and I also see an angler up there, and I'm sure he's after those big rainbow that can often be caught this time of year in the Wasteway. In our search for winter perch fishing here in central Washington, we've moved from the Winchester Wasteway up to the Cooley City Marina. This little marina will freeze over pretty early in the winter even though Banks Lake is wide open and it can be a great spot to find yellow perch. Throughout the winter and right after ice off it's a very popular spot. Now what would a well equipped angler bring along for fishing through the ice here in the winter months? Well as you can see I have a very lightweight sled and I've attached some stringy, stretchy string that I've threaded through the sides of it. That'll hold my equipment in place. It's got everything I need for a day's fishing on the ice. And that includes, first of all, an ice auger. That's in the very bottom of the sled. Along with that, I have a slotted spoon to keep the ice free from the hole after I've drilled it with the auger. In addition to that, I have a chair to sit in so I can stay close to the fishing hole. And also, what I brought along today because I couldn't find my carpet sample is just one of my old life vests. It's very good idea to have something under your feet while you're sitting over your hole waiting for a bite. It'll help you keep warm throughout the day. Typically what I usually use is a carpet sample that you can buy at any carpet or flooring store for a dollar or a dollar and a half. Those are very handy. Along with that I've got two rods and also my bag with all my tackle in it, a bucket to keep the catch, and then of course my backpack that's got hand warmers and gloves and maybe some snacks and other items. So all of that is easy to transport onto the ice and the sled makes it a very easy way to pack all your gear to the fishing spot. Well I've got my hole drilled which is a very large hole. I did notice that I'm using the Montana size hole which is a seven inch auger, which is a lot more work to get through the ice. Most of the other ones I see here are four to six inches, if that. But now I've got my uh, chair positioned and I've got my uh, cushion all set up. The next step was rigging my rod. 
on one hook, which I've just created some overhand loops to tie the leader to the jigs to my main line. I've put a couple of split shot on the very bottom to help me get down there. And then on my first hook, I've got a very popular ice fishing jig, which is a Max Lure glow hook. This you'll see being used all over the country during ice fishing season. I also have on my other hook an eyed jig that has a couple of very small clapper blades on it that will make a little noise if you jig it. Both of these are baited with a worm. Other popular baits are maggots, corn. Also, I like to go to the pet stores and buy the feed that they use for lizards and turtles and larger reptiles, which are inchworms, waxworms, those types of things can be very effective through the eyes too. Well, let's put this through the hole, see if we can get anything to bite. Hooked on toys! As winter settles into our area, many savvy anglers are shifting their attention to the big reservoirs. Lake Roosevelt, Rufus Woods, and Banks Lake all offer great trout fishing in the winter, and Hooked on Toys has what you need to get them. Ask Rick what he uses to catch the big triploids at Rufus Woods, and you'll find what you need for fishing from shore or from a boat on the shelves at Hooked on Toys. See them at 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, or visit them online at HookedOnToys.com. Hi, I'm Dave Grayville, the Fish and Magician, and I'm sitting in front of the Lake Pateras Inn. Lake Pateras Inn is one of the most convenient places you can stay if you like to fish for salmon or steelhead on the Upper Columbia River. You can moor your boat at the dock, or there are two ramps within yards. They have outdoor power so you can charge your electric motor. Rooms are clean and comfortable and very affordable. Everything you need is right here at the Lake Pateras Inn. <laughs> Not bad. That didn't take long. And they liked my eye jig. How about that? One of my fellow ice anglers over here just brought me a jig that he says is working very well up here. As you can see, it's just a little tiny guy on a small hook with a little bit of color and a small bead. He says it works wonders and he was nice enough to give me one to try out today. That's really fun. You can really see that bobber go. Just like winter steelhead, and it's a very visual way to fish. One thing that's nice about coming to fish here is that right near the shore is a pit toilet 
we're just on the edge of the town of Cooley City and there's restaurants and services there and just a couple miles up the road is Big Wally's that has a liquor store, a restaurant, all the other kinds of things that an angling family could use in the winter months. So, okay. As soon as they start dumping the water yeah. out of Moses yeah. into O'Sullivan, it gets a current going right there through that I-90 bridge. Oh, yeah. And just south of that, on the south side of the freeway, there's a little, it drops down like 35 feet and you just sit there and blade bait and jig for them. It's, That's a great depth for that. Oh yeah, like it's that. perfect. Well, here we are at Moses Lake. I'm here with Travis Pavlik. We met at the Cooley City Marina. Travis was nice enough to let me borrow one of his favorite jigs and by golly it sure worked. And Travis you were nice enough to give me a call when the ice was thick enough and the perch started biting here at Moses Lake. Yes it's been good the last couple days. Uh, I've been fishing here since Sunday and uh, been pretty incredible. Limits every day so far and uh, lots of jumbos and a few walleye including some 24 and 26 inches. That's fantastic. And he's been out here this morning. I just caught up with him this afternoon, but here's a selection of the fish that he's caught today. And as he said, uh, the mornings have been very productive here on Moses Lake for jumbo perch and walleye. And he's got a pretty good bucket going here. And I'm going to drill myself a hole and see if I can catch a couple myself. Dean. We were just talking about Jumbo Perch and look what he just pulled through the ice. Travis, that's a monster perch. Boy, anybody would love getting one like that. That's fabulous. Oh. That guy's got to be 13 inches, 14 maybe? Yeah, you just don't beat the perch like that. It's just incredible here on Moses Lake. Well, you know, years ago they had just about disappeared. They changed the regulations on the walleye. They reduced the uh, slot limit size and they increased the bag limit. And the result is the perch are back. And jumbles like this, boy. Am I glad I'm here today. The goal of Battery Systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Graybill, and I choose Battery Systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a Battery Systems product expert in a location near you, log on to BatterySystems.net. Gaboon Productions LLC is a full-service video production company right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Gaboon is a term coined by my grandfather, commercial fishing in Alaska. It's when a bunch of fish hit your net all at the same time. We capture life as you see it. From filming those special moments to catching something big, Gaboon Productions LLC can record it, edit it, and save it for you forever. We do weddings, theater productions, concerts, reunions, commercials, and more. Go to GaboonProductions.com on the web, check us out on Facebook, and on YouTube. Gaboon Productions LLC, the little video company capturing your big moments. Well, Travis, as you said, you've had some pretty good success here the last couple of weeks and uh, right here just north of the I-90 bridge is that pretty much your favorite spot? Yeah either here or um, up in Cascade Valley I go up there more for the walleye. The walleye seem to be a little bit more plentiful up there but uh, still not much size to them. 14, 15 inch walleye is about the average up there but for the bigger jumbos definitely right here north of the I-90 bridge. Now this is one of the rare places that you can catch a mixed bag of yellow perch and walleye through the ice. And we saw some examples today of the 12 inchers that you've caught, but you say you've seen some bigger fish come through the ice this season. Yeah, Sunday when I was out, um, I seen about five walleye over 22 inches, the biggest being 31, come through the ice. And also, uh, even today, uh, 
few rainbows around the 19, 20 inch range came through the ice, so definitely can get a mixed bag here at Moses Lake. That's one of the things I forgot to mention. Moses Lake has some very nice rainbow in it. Uh, in the spring, I usually see some 20 plus inchers taken out of here, and they're getting a few through the ice in the winter here too, huh? Yeah, definitely. Last year, uh, the biggest one I saw was right just under 26 inches come through the ice, so definitely some big rainbows here. Sounds like there's a lot of good reasons to drill a hole through the ice here at Moses Lake. <laughs> Well, Travis, you catch a lot of perch, so you must like to eat them. Yes, I do. I make fish tacos, uh, perch ceviche, deep fry them, beer batter them, just about any way you can have perch, I've tried it. Very good eating. Um, I actually smoked some here the other day, and that wasn't bad. First time I tried it smoked, so pretty good smoke, too. Now, that is something different. I'm going to have to try that. I think I've eaten perch just about every way that you've mentioned. And that uh, it, it's hard to beat, you know, one of our favorite ways is just to take them, uh, cube them, put a little butter and garlic in a pan and just flip them around till they're white. Now you're making me hungry, yeah. My favorite way is uh, probably a mango perch ceviche. Uh, use it as a chip dip. and. Gosh, you just can't beat that with the mangoes in it. Makes it real sweet. You use the acid from the lemon juice to cook it, soak it for 24 hours. Excellent way. You've got something there. I gotta try that one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, little Wally, he's going back. Not bad. And you're using a Swedish pimple too, huh? Yeah. Same exact thing as... Well, I just might have to give that a try. Okay, a few walleye are biting now, so Travis is going to switch to more of a walleye bait. The Swedish pimple has produced a couple, but here is one of his favorite walleye rigs. That looks like a little Rapala. Yeah, it's a little Rapala meant for ice fishing. Uh, basically, you jig it like you would a blade bait, uh, vertical jig it. And it, I've actually caught the bigger jumbo perch on this as well. Ooh, it looks good. Yeah, it's uh, been fairly productive. I mean, pretty slow when uh, things are, everything else is slow, but when the fish are in and biting, they'll j hit this just as much as anything else. No one is happy about having to repair a vehicle after an accident. However, I was very happy when I chose First Choice Collision Center when I needed this service. I can't say enough about how they treated me. Fast and friendly just doesn't say enough. They have amazing technology to make a damaged vehicle look like new. At First Choice Collision Center, you can expect modern service with old-fashioned values. That was my experience, and I'm sure it will be yours too. Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built Ford Tough Truck Event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built Ford Tough. Like the Ford F-150 with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in East Wenatchee. Travis hooked up on his super walleye rig. Look at that, and it's a nice keeper walleye. Duck on it. Now Good I got to fish. Now I got to go buy something else. That is great. Way to go. Can't beat that. Good mix basket today. As I mentioned earlier, people are really pleased to see that the perch are back here at Moses Lake, particularly the ones of this size. 
jumbo perch are hard to find in our region, but Moses Lake has more than its share. And as you can see there, the word is out. And where we are is really just north of the I-90 bridge, which is a very popular fishing spot in the spring when the ice comes off. But in a year like this, the ice attracts lots of anglers. And as you can see, when the perch are that size, you're going to get a crowd out here after them.